Hello, Hello Twitch. World. Hello, world. You know, some programmer talk. Anyways, <laughs> this is going to be one of the hypest matches yet. Now, these are two teams that absolutely dominated through the winner's bracket. Pretty much uncontested. And they finally get an equal rival. So I'm really excited to see these two teams face each other. Uh, Canada has a whole ton of accuracy legends and really good speed players. Whereas mm -hmm. Netherlands is, is really specific towards speed. So I'm really amped up for this match. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun match. Um, of course, both teams have been doing really well across the uh, BC World Cup through their matches so far the past couple of weekends. Um, now we're getting into the nitty gritty of some of the the, the top teams uh, across the globe here as we uh, go into uh, the winners here for semifinals. Yeah, the winners is starting to look really, yeah. really filthy. It's Canada versus Netherlands now, and then right after this, it should be United States states versus united kingdom so that's also going to be another crazy match yeah both of these are going to be pretty intense see how canada and the netherlands do today uh, with their first match for uh sunday yeah so uh, a lot of the canadian players specifically uh flea didn't get a ton of warm-up time because uh they were actually hosting their own tournament <laughs> up until an hour before their playtime so that's right yeah and it went so... long it went like an hour later than it should have yeah because they reset the the, the uh, double elimination bracket so mm -hmm. so not enough uh not a lot of time to warm up but they still get to go through their warm-up matches uh for this um gives them some time to get their arms moving yeah for sure it looks like we got the whole army down in uh team canada there Whoa! like they got the whole team together which is nice they're ready. They're ready. ready They're go. coming in full force. Both teams <laughs> here, when I talked to them, asking, uh, you know, like what, what the tensions were like going into this match, both teams want to win so bad. Like, right. normally I ask the question, like, if they're going for blood or they're just relaxing and having fun. And both teams said they're going for blood. They want to get that pretty much guaranteed third place in the batch. Mm hmm. So, I expect to see some uh, some passionate, emotional plays in Beat Saber coming out. Yeah, and I mean they're they're both um, extremely high seeded teams for this uh, entire World Cup. Yeah, um, number two and number three in qualifiers. Number two and number three. That's that's insane. Out of sixteen teams, um, and of course there's a lot of no names on both of these teams. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be intense. Though I think there's some players that won't be able to play today. Yeah. So, um, turns out Canada's got the whole gang, so they got all eight. Mm -hmm. um, and then from the Netherlands, I know that Cooling isn't gonna be playing. But we do have Mitchell. I'm not sure if Light AI is, Light AI is playing, but she is in, or he's in the Discord. And then um, we got Jumping Sheep, Silver Haze. Rocks and Olaf. Yeah. So they got they got a pretty decent lineup too. And uh, for the people who are wondering why Cooling's not playing, if you haven't heard, Cooling injured his shoulder, so he's not going to be playing in this match. Yeah. He's making the uh, decision to not play, not make it worse. Which anybody who plays B Saber should be following that as well. Uh, if you are in pain, please stop playing this game. <laughs> yeah, get some water, get some rest, yeah. maybe Take get some physio, depending on how bad it is. But yeah, it's it's never worth it, and yeah. it's just unfortunate. <laughs> it does bring up the uh, interesting thing about uh, the Netherlands now, because Cooling Closet won't be playing today for this match. How they will hold up against Canada? So um, I'm a man of many predictions, and. Uh -huh. For Canada versus the Netherlands, originally when I kind of took both teams in whole into account, uh, Canada beat Netherlands on accuracy, like without a doubt in my mind. Um, yeah. And then when it came to speed, it really depend. It really depended on if it was technical 
or like high speed, mid speed, you know, th those kind of factors. And I think that on speed, Netherlands would actually end up taking some of the matches. I think Canada was a little like was a little ahead in my mind on mid speed, but anything mm -hmm. high speed or more technical or anything like that, I I think Netherlands had the upper hand. Yeah. You definitely see a lot more um, accuracy players on the Canada side. And of course, we know um, some of the players in the Netherlands, Silver Haze, Cooling Closet, um, Mitchell. A lot of these, a lot of these guys are are doing um, a lot of those speed kind of those speed maps. Technical doing maps. jumping sheep, Sh jumping sheep yeah. is gonna be a gamer. And yes. I think, <laughs> I think from uh, Canada's side, we're gonna see the normal rotation of like Flea, BC Kill, Electro, and Monster Wook on speed. Um, maybe yeah. Hyron mixed in a couple of times. Um, but and then on accuracy, you have SFK whisper abby and abby. then flea and then maybe hyron mix in a couple times again it really depends on the on the map and then for the netherlands i think we're pretty much exclusively gonna see silver jumping sheep mitchell and olaf yeah. um you might see rocks thrown in a, a few times but i think that that's kind of going to be their main lineup and it's it's gonna be really hard in a best of seven to play with just four players with no breaks yeah yeah but i mean they're used to it. on a regular stream that these guys do it they're playing a lot of these level maps for hours on end so they might have the stamina to go through it um in a tournament setting maybe the nerves as well who knows um it's it's a pretty big match for both of these teams so you never know yeah, um, when I asked a lot of team or a couple of the teams facing Netherlands, and when I look at Netherlands games, the big surprise is how hard Jumping Sheep is gaming. I think Jumping Sheep really exceeded the expectations of people had of him going into World Cup. Yeah, every match that he's played through uh, the World Cup, he has just destroyed. <laughs> the percentages that he's putting down are absolutely insane. Um, so it's been really cool to watch him play through this World Cup. Um, definitely a force to be reckoned with, for sure. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times you see, out of all the players on Netherlands, you see Sheep being the one keeping a full combo with a really high act and kind of carrying the team. Yeah, quote on yeah. quote. I, I, don't, I, I, I don't think it's that big of a difference, but I mean, he, you can really tell that sometimes Sheep is just popping off. Yeah, and it plays a huge part because this is team-based. This isn't the 1v1 tournaments that we've seen across Beat Saber in the past. Um, I said that before, that this is very much team-focused. You need to have everybody performing their best because one slip-up, one one miss, um, one, you know, scoring, getting bad accuracy really, really messes up the entire map that you're going through. So uh, do you have some favorite maps here? Like, are there maps I you want to see? I do. Um, yeah. I want to since I want to see Skin Thief just because uh, I love that song. All right, um, I really like um, the oh my gosh how did I pronounce that the Oshama Scramble map. Don't ask me why I just do it just jams and it's just fun to play uh, on the right. server. And then um, I think that's I think that's my two my top two. Yeah, I gotta Should go with watch? Ocean Scramble and Falling. Falling's a bop. The vocal slicing at the end, so good. Yeah. I'm, I'm still on the age of like, I don't know, middle-aged electronic dance music where everything had vocal slicing. Oh, oh my god. So good. Can't believe you. What? Vocal slicing's great. <laughs> I, think, I think people killed it by using it too much, but oh, yeah. it's so good. Oh my god, Silver Haze rolled 11. Is that the lowest roll yet? Sad. Sad Pepe, man. Oh, we had a 5 this morning. I was sleeping this time, so I didn't get to see him. But but it looks like Flea's going to take that one by 52%. <laughs> it was a 4, not a 5, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I did no. not pull out that information myself. You know, I, I had to Google it really quick. <laughs> I didn't check my sources. I didn't have time. Can't believe you. You're a disgrace. So Netherlands bans hold it down. Yep. No surprise. Oh, get rid of Ak against Canada. Um, yeah. I think Canada is going to ban some, like, high speed maps. Actually, they might not want to ban, like, some stamina maps because they might be able to exhaust another ones. I'm not exactly sure. So I'm, I'm expecting them to yeah. ban, like, Skin Thief. 
or and maybe match in water. Yeah, match in the water is really good because like technical maps are kind of Netherlands strong point here, like yeah. technical and speed. But I think that you kind of want to keep those like really high speed stamina maps in just to exhaust. Uh, then like the, other, the other team, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I just had a brain fart on. That's okay. On team names. Um, I mean, and all of these songs are are relatively fast too. I mean, outside of the the general accuracy ones, but um, most of these are sitting at uh, let's see, like twenty three NJS, and they're pretty long too. For some of the other ones that we've seen, three minutes, almost so four. We're gonna see our like our combined favorite here oshima scramble hey and for the canadian players we got flea electrostatics hyron and bc kill one of the speed lineups i recommend it or mm -hmm. i said that would be pulled out and then we got olaf sheep mitchell and silver for netherlands because those are pretty much their only options right now yeah um yeah i expect hyron to get pulled out here instead of putting in monster book just because it's so technical and, you know, Hyron's thing is a little bit of tech. Like, he's not good at fast tech, but it's kinda, overall, kind of pops off. Yeah, so. where he pops off, yeah. Yeah, and it's not too surprising to leave the ACK map out. Like, it's not like there's another ban halfway through this, so they <laughs> can just pull out the ACK map anytime they need an easy win. Looks like both teams are ready. All right. So if we get into we the are. nitty gritty of wait the map. So Silver Haze ad again. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta wait for Silver Haze's <laughs> ad always. Jumping sheep floss. Um yeah, so I pretty much wrote this down as a tech speed map with a lot of bottom row row horizontal horizontal jumps. Yeah. and low diagonal jumps so it's like it's kind of weird to have like all these kind of things that you'd normally see really high up low granted i think for the diagonals it makes it a little bit easier i think for the sideways jumps it's not quite as great um has a few stack jumps sliders and streams mixed in and a part with doubles and dodge a wall which i always hate but <laughs> you know, dodge a wall. five seconds pretty short map yeah uh, not too bad two njs so the Pretty quick. And not a ton of notes at 7.41 notes per second. Here comes the QR codes. Scan those to go see their score saber. Yep, currently uh, getting those streams. Might in. not work because I don't know who was up in the top left, but they're a little bit stinky today. That's Flea. Uh, oh my god, Flea. Flea. I'm, I'm gonna go talk to him. Yeah, you you tell you tell. I'll be I'll be right back. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no, don't leave me. Smacks flea in chat. Poor flea. So I mean though, like flea was so busy all day, so yeah, I can see that happening. Oh yeah, it's not even close to lined up. That's a nope. really good perspective. Ooh, Canada going right into it. We we're seeing jumping sheep drop a note uh, right out of the gate there for the song. Same with BC, and now Mitchell drops one too. It is pretty technical, so we're going to see a lot of misses here. Unfortunately, uh, Netherlands not starting off strong at all. You have Olaf over there, um, the top left corner, shaking his head. At some of those notes there. Yeah, they're almost sky streams. And like, okay, you look at Olaf, mm -hmm. and you can see how high his play height is, because you can look really low through it, but a lot of players end up playing with a lower play height, and these stacks kind of across the top, you're not going to see them so much now, but earlier in the song, makes it a lot harder to read the song. And when it's yeah. so technical, it makes it really tough to be able to hit those notes, because you get less time to react. God, and those walls that come into this are just... Yeah, dodge a wall. Yeah, <laughs> they're there, in your face. And the song's pretty much half over, and Canada's got a four and a half percent lead. lead. Yeah, unfortunately, just right out of the gate, Netherlands uh, missed, so, missed a lot. Both um, Mitchell was sitting at a an eighty 
was it, 88, 89 for a good portion of that, as, as well as Olaf. And they both seem to be struggling to climb back even over that 90% for their team. And that's going to hurt them. Yeah, even Silver's on two misses here. And BC yeah. Kill missed a couple notes right at the beginning, but so far holding combo after that. And Electrostats is the only one on a FC right now. You see some players under 90 on um, Netherlands here. Olaf have, had a really hard time with some of that vertical stuff higher up and ended up picking up seven misses. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be not enough time to do anything Olaf with that 90. Yeah, Olaf was really struggling with that top row stuff. It's really yeah. weird to see his play height so high. Like, I don't know if it's a camera thing, but, like, it's he seems really low. But, yeah, Canada know. takes that one by a oh, wide margin. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, did Olaf hit <laughs> it with a down vote? No, Olaf. Sad Pepe. I wonder if that was... Did he not practice these maps? I wonder. You know what? I think Cooling injured himself literally yesterday. So they may not have planned to put Olaf in. Yeah. And Olaf probably didn't practice very many of these. That could be that could be the uh, I don't know if it's a sight read. Like he had a day to practice, but like he wouldn't be able yeah. to practice them a lot. That's not a fact. I'm not sure. That's just yeah. a assumption. So if I'm yeah. right, Pog, if I'm wrong, um don't sue me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going into our next map here. Netherlands looks like they're going to be picking the battle drop. The battle drop. Oh, this was Ooh. another pop. Another technical map. Yeah, I think uh, the Netherlands really want to pick up tech here. Yeah. I think out of the gate, that, that was kind of their plan, so. Battle drop's a cool song, too. It's, it's like... Um, I don't know, artistically, it feels like a careful, between a careful dance and a battle. Like, it's actually mm. really interesting. That was very poetic of you. <laughs> um, I'm not, I'm not very poetic, so thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> but yeah, you'll notice it. Just, yeah, just yeah. Keep, keep your nostrils open. You'll smell I... it. I, <laughs> okay. So, uh, for Netherlands, we got Olaf, Sheep, Mitchell, and Silver, and I'm expecting to see the same lineup. Okay, we got Monster Book instead of Hyren, but besides mm -hmm. that, same lineup for same team, Canada. yeah, same Sam. Yeah, Wook was like, put me in coach. Also, Flea, fix your stream. Come on. Oh, he said very sorry earlier. Can't believe you, Flea. Can't. Believe em you. Embarrassing. You know, he did say sorry, though, like a good Canadian, so... <laughs> he is. He's so sweet. Oh, yeah, he's such a nice <laughs> so guy. So nice. All right. So this one is, like you said, it's 2 minutes, 47 seconds, uh, and she gets a 21. Um, lots of different stuff for this map scattered throughout, like you had mentioned. Um, and then, like, a lot of slider sliders towards the end. Yeah, it's a pretty fast map, 9.3. Notes per second. Um, 21 NJS, so like you might see a little bit of like note stacking, not really, but mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of stack jumps and sliders, so they they are quite a bit spread out, and all the all, the notes are only close when they need to be. So I think overall, pretty good song. Yeah, and no breaks though. Um, actually, I lied because I went to read my notes because I did arm breaks after semifinals, and then I just went back and read my notes to see if I put down any arm rest. Um, it says arm rest no at the bottom, but in my notes it says a long break, twenty five seconds in. <laughs> Embarrassing. Twenty five seconds in though, out of oh, out of two, two minutes and forty seven seconds. Yeah, it's not much of an arm break. It's more of like preparation. It's yeah, like prepare yeah. yourself. All right. The sync is finally working. Good news. Yeah, thank God for Flea. <laughs> and here we go into Battle Drop. Canada leading with that 96 currently. Hey, nobody dropped a note right at the beginning. N nobody dropping anything out of the gate so far. Another one's trying to take back 
Yeah, I think if we're going to see anyone miss, it's going to be right after the break because you get a lot mm -hmm. of diagonal crossovers. Lot wow, lots of players nailing that, those sliders there, getting really good yeah. at it. Looks like Canada is just a bit ahead here at a 0.1% going into this little break. Now you have uh, Flea on the Canada side leading with that 96.25%. Yeah, all teams NPC. doing really well overall. It's pretty even, like you got Olaf and Electro at 94.9. Oh, Olaf just dropped one, breaking the FCs all around. Oh no. No, sad Pepe. And same with Jumping Sheep, I actually dropped one there. Yeah, the but it's... still going strong, except for Flea. Flea forgot that he that he needed to hit that, I think. <laughs> Even with the with those couple of drops on the Netherlands side, they're still able to be slightly behind Canada right now with their scores. Um, so they they are keeping up just a little bit. They're trying. Yes, they are, except for they just dropped a ton, and I think that is on Olaf's side. He missed five, six notes now. Yeah. Olaf now yeah, sitting think... at that 90% accuracy on this map. Yeah, I think my big prediction for Olaf not being super prepared for these maps might be the case, because he seems to have pretty panicked swings, mm -hmm. as if he's pretty much sight reading it. He is going to end up missing a lot there as well, and dropping down to 89% from Netherlands uh, with Olaf's score here. Yeah, it's very, it's very tough. Yeah. For them right now, just a very unfortunate series of events. What are you talking about, laughing? The stream can't hear Alma, by the way. I know it. <laughs> it's a strange man talking in my headset right now. <laughs> Help. Both teams going really strong later on though. Um, Olaf's still struggling to keep a combo on some of those top notes up there, but everyone else is doing pretty well. Mitchell dropped FC a while ago. And Canada has no FCs left, and Silver just dropped right near the end. That's unfortunate. And but Jumping Sheep. coming to an end here though. Yeah, Jumping Sheep after that little miss kept a strong combo. A closer match, though, than the previous one, by a lot. They were, um, Netherlands just slightly behind Canada there for that, for that map. Yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, some more regular, like, mid-speed stuff, like standard mid-speed, Netherlands actually going to end up doing better on. I think Netherlands had yeah. a big plan to do tech maps with uh, cooling, but I think Olaf just wasn't prepared for these tech maps yeah and it actually ended up shooting them in the foot by sticking by that yeah but i think once we get to regular mid-speed maps here olaf's really going to take off and we're going to see really close matches yeah it's uh, a bit unfortunate there Okay, I'm curious what they're gonna be picking for this next map then. Um, yeah, so oh. I believe Netherlands gets to pick again. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, like, uh, they might go for a skin thief, but I think they might want to stay away from high speed knowing BC and not having cooling. Yeah. Um, they might go for like feeling sky or falling, I think are the big predicts. I told Silver he better pick Falling, and I also told Flea he better <laughs> pick Falling, so I'm going to be pissed. Oh, Trick Lash. Oh, Trick Lash. Okay. Of the, of the only, like, more relaxed speed maps here, <laughs> I, I picked two, and they picked <laughs> one I didn't predict. All right, let's pull out the stats for Trick Lash. Wow, I wrote a lot down. This must be a complicated map. Yeah, I do know it starts out with some with some little jumps in the beginning, like right I, I wrote it down as map. a jump map, so it seems yeah. that it's going to be quite full of jumps. Um, Fun. Starts with some one saber jumps and eventually moves into using both hands for jumps and hitting a lot of stacks. Um, it has some sliders and crossover jumps also. Um, and there's a couple arm breaks in here. I think they're pretty short 
an opportunity for accuracy and arm rest during the bridge and then another big arm break hmm. during the build up to, for the second drop and then uh, the longer songs as well three minutes yeah. and 45 seconds it's also one of the faster maps to 23 yeah. js which isn't a super uncommon speed up up in uh semifinals here but it is pretty high in general yeah it's so fast yeah so after the second arm break you're gonna see streams and it's gonna go straight down to slider town like <laughs> there like it big is time big time i gotta say it once it's like my thing right down oh, mis to mis town. mispronouncing names and slider town those are my thing I, I, I gotta please my fans. But... <laughs> it's just me. I'm the only one. <laughs> yeah, so we see Sim line, line up for Netherlands again. Yep. And same thing for Canada. Not changing up too much. Hey, somebody said Slider Town in chat. I'm pogging. There it is. Oh, Ace is my biggest fan. <laughs> Adorable. All right. Going into getting the stream synced right now. Can I get those QR codes up? Yep. There they go, maybe. Praise the syncing gods. Beautiful. Perfect. I don't know why everyone has a different color of green. I don't know. It looks like a creeper from Minecraft. Though. There's only like two <laughs> options, so I don't know why it's, yeah. it's different. It's weird. All right. Trick Lash 220. Everyone's prepared for these one handed jumps. I thought it would trip at least one person up, but I guess that's the kind of caliber of teams we're talking about right now. Yeah. And it, it goes right into the song really fast with those, those starting jumps right there, so. Yeah, Monster Wook actually drops one. Given a lead over to the Netherlands. Yeah, Netherlands sitting at that 96, but Canada trying to bring up that 95 right now. That bar going back and forth. Yeah, all players above a 95 here on Netherlands side. Monster Book yeah. actually dying for a second, but that's okay. They Flea and BC are holding like a strong 96 and a half, and Silver Haze is almost a 97. Jumping sheep at about that 96 and a half point. Mm. Still fighting for that over that 95 right now. That bar going back and forth still. Um, Olaf um, holding up a lot better on this map than, than the previous one. Doing well there with the 95. Um, and then you got uh, Jumping Sheep and Silver Haze with that 96 on the two Netherlands right now. Yeah, I think that if Olaf is a little bit more unprepared, he's more meta patterns will definitely favor him. He did just yeah. drop one though, but I mean, Monster Wook's back in like the ancient times right now and <laughs> also <laughs> dropped that keeper. Oh, no. team. Everyone else still on FC. And Canada does take a bit of a lead off that Olaf dropping one, but it's only 0.1%. So I mean, really, it can go either way, either with yep. mi a miss or some bad act from either team. Very close match right now. We're about half way through the song right now. Yeah, I believe this is the second break. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's, it's hard. Cool. It's hard without being able to listen to the song. Yeah, yeah. So, might be getting sliders. Yeah, there we go. I find sliders are always the great equalizer in matches. Yeah. But it's hard to act, and if you miss them, it's really gonna shoot yourself in the foot. And Jumping Sheep missed one, and Olaf is struggling with those sliders again, too. Yeah, he's gonna fall down to a 93% on uh, another Netherlands side right now. Flea actually does a full combo, too. Just now. Yeah. So, uh, we're on two combos for each team right now. Can I just slightly ahead? Yeah, the lead is slowly gaining, and I think the it song is. chills out for a little bit and then kind of picks up in the pace again for the end. Final last burst there towards the end of the song, yeah. 
doing really well with these jumps. Olaf is like a machine gunner. <laughs> he seems to be swinging like a mad lad in there. You know what I didn't notice? Jumping Sheep has like major saber wobbles. If you watch. Saber wobble is like when the. You'll see it when you have a trail on your saber, but it's when your the tip of your saber doesn't follow a straight line. Yeah. Saw in a few of those swings there, definitely. And it looks like Canada's gonna take that one as well. Yeah, Netherlands is in a tough spot here, but like. Mm -hmm. Normally, I'm always looking for a win condition, but for Netherlands, I mean, like, they, they can win on pretty much everything or nothing. Like, yeah. the remaining maps are so similar in a way, and you, you pretty much got to pick your poison. Like, try again on a mid-speed map. Try high speed, and definitely don't pick Ack. Yeah. Is pretty much the plan. And I think that um, Canada's got the next pick anyways, so we're going to be seeing them pick, pick their map. And I think that they're going to put the nail in the coffin with some act. Oh, it looks like Netherlands calling tracking on this. Netherlands calling tracking. Probably on Olaf. I can see him shaking his saber mm -hmm. like a madman. Oh, yeah, I can see it popping. It's popping. Maybe yeah. Olaf has had tracking issues the whole time. If if there was any map to call tracking on, this is the one. Because if they don't win this, Canada is going to pick Ack, and then Netherlands is just done. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely well, a close match, too. Um, and again, uh, with the World Cup, for those in Twitch chat, uh, each team gets one tracking call. That's it. Just one across the entire team. So you have to really pick and choose where you want to... If you, if you need to use it, where you're going to use it at. Um on these songs here i just want to bring up we got some mad support in chat for olaf I here everyone is ready i am spamming it <laughs> olaf is still a winner in our hearts all right olaf is playing his hardest his tracking seems to be not cooperating at all yeah but sometimes there's not much you can do about it and that's yep. just how the tracking gods work it's unfortunate, and it's really hard to pinpoint, let alone resolve. You just never know when it's going to happen. Um, and in it a seems tournament Netherlands setting, is it's ready, though. Yeah. So they're going to be gone. Okay. I expected Olaf to run around, whipping, ripping everything off the walls, vacuuming the carpet, <laughs> turning the lights on and off. That's how I. That's how I get tracked. Right. Though. Covering windows, anything that shine. Yeah, the whole, the whole thing. The whole thing. Oh my god, people are spending points to highlight their message. Like this is this is pretty That's tall, beautiful. Man. This is some real love for a boy. Pray that his tracking holds out through this one. I I believe uh Wook is confused. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a long string stream sync. If they make it in time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just because we didn't refresh the stream there. But it's okay. I think stream sync's going to work. Maybe. <laughs> Olaf, take my tracking. I love it. There you go. Chat is so adorable. It's so good. <laughs> Olaf, take my tracking. It's not enough, guys. Olaf needs all the tracking. Yes. All right, here we go. After a tracking call, playing Trick Lash one more time. And the first Netherlands. Yeah, so for anyone who hasn't seen a tracking call before, the highest score of all four plays, so one from each team in the last play and one from each team in this, wins. So... Yeah. Netherlands needs to be Canada's score, and Canada hopefully needs to improve their score, is what's going on here. So again, that bar going back and forth, like the first run of this, of this song here. 
Yeah, once again, really back and forth. It seems the Netherlands kind of has the lead here, and Monster Wolf dropped a note or two. I didn't see how many, but it dropped a lot. It's just barely, though, with Netherlands with that 96. Canada fighting just slightly behind that 95.78%. Uh... <laughs> it's like Electro's... And Jumping Sheep dropped one up. now. Still holding the lead, though, on the Netherlands side, even with that drop. Yeah, Electro still playing hard, it seems. Holding a 96.05. I don't know if that's up to date, but it should be. <laughs> Monster Wick. Oh, really? Oh. Well, the big number's still increasing properly, so I think that he's still scoring for Electro. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I guess. Um, Wook here is really struggling though. I don't know if it's coming down as tracking, but seems to not be able to keep up that combo and is sitting at a 93 now. Yeah, which is definitely not not like him. Oh yeah, it does seem like Electro score is not coming in. I think that Electro has literally died and this could be a blessing in disguise for Netherlands. Yeah. They just need to beat Canada's score here, because um, if Canada can't get this score in, then they just need to beat Canada's old score. Yeah. Everybody on oh, Netherlands just kind of vibing through this one, though. Yeah. Also, it seems like the percentages are based on the percent last percentage received. But the uh, scores are based on the last score received, so you, the percentages look really close, and it looks like Canada's winning. But on the score, they're really ahead because Electro is an increasing score. Yeah. Oh my God, Electro area got struck by lightning, and his power went out. <gasps> Unfortunate. Oh no. Canada is fighting Canada <laughs> right now. The weather. Is coming in strong. Yeah, summertime when... afternoons. This is where uh, thunderstorms kick up, so. Uh, Either way, really... the Netherlands is doing really well here, but I yeah. don't think they have a high enough score. Ooh, unfortunately, Olaf is going to end up dropping his combo there. Yeah, Olaf's only a one miss this time, though. Yeah, one miss. That's a, that's definitely a lot better, um, that tracking recall there, helping them out. Sitting at 94. And uh, coming up to the end of the song. It's going to be really close. <laughs> Electro has no <laughs> No, yeah, they please. didn't do it. <laughs> they didn't do it by, like, 7K. Okay, they didn't make it. it. No. That's unfortunate, but Electro's got no Electro, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Twitch God. chat, you're the best. Gotta love Twitch chat. Is is that <laughs> Jack starting all of these? I don't know. I can see it. I can see it. That's Jack's humor. But um, because Netherlands didn't beat them, Canada's gonna take this. And... They don't even need Electro. No. Yeah. Because all they need to do is pick an act map. Yeah. <laughs> See if that's what they end up doing. S Some are saying Electro got real life DDoSed. <laughs> okay, Electro is back online. Power is uh, functioning, so uh, hopefully he doesn't get struck by lightning again. <laughs> yeah, thank God his computer's okay though, because yeah, can, like, if if your local box gets hit by that, like you, you your stuff's mm. fried. Yeah. Even with a power protector. So let's see if Canada here picks up the act map. I feel like uh, I would like to say that. Canada is going to be Pog and play the high speed map and go for oh the Skin Thief God, and do their homies them. here. But I know Flea and I know he wants to win so bad, he's just going to secure the easy win by picking Ack. Yeah.
Also, all the um, all the players for the Netherlands are called mm -hmm. Mega Maka Mark, which I think is hilarious. I don't. I think it's pretty good. Just kind of like how we got big up Boris for yep. uh, UK. <laughs> and you called it. Looks like they're going to pick the accuracy map. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Flea's ruthless. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a nice guy. He's a Canadian, but you know, he's he's not gonna potentially throw no. to be kind. No. But it would be extremely pog if Netherlands won this map after me saying this. Yeah, we got Flea, SFK, Abby, and Whisper. And then uh, Olaf, Sheep, and Mitchell, and Silver for uh, Netherlands. Yep, same same gang. Yeah, and of course, Canada bringing in their, 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 act, their act lineup right there. Flea, SFK, Abby, and Whisper. Act gods. Yeah, so this is... This is going to be a two minute map and it's an accuracy song with emphasis on stack jumps and piano streams. It contains a few diagonal notes and burst streams, but nothing too crazy. Yeah. And an 18 NJS, which is pretty high for an act map, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's absolutely terrible. Yeah. Imagine if, imagine if someone else's power goes out now, it'd be a sign. Yeah. Okay. All right. We are prepared. I am ready. Going into our stream sync here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Fast, fast stream sync. I was about to say, did we forget to uh, refresh Wix stream again? But he's not even there. Whoa, 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 everyone's saying Newfoundland. I mean, not Newfoundland. Oh my god, why am I so dumb? <laughs> Netherlands already <laughs> lost. When I see NL, I just think Newfoundland. But, uh, everyone's saying Netherlands already lost. Toxic Anything can bad. happen. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like Canada's holding a 98 and a half. <laughs> yeah, their, their entire team holding 98s, mind you. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Disgusting. They're insane. He's almost at a 99 here. <laughs> like, what even is this? This is unfair. <laughs> oh my god, it's insane. Yeah, this is, uh, their act the lineup is terrifying. Out. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Someone can get hit by lightning, kill me. No, they can't because they are power players in accuracy right now. Everyone's going extremely hard. I don't think anyone can beat that act. Like, 98 and a half is just stupid between four players, too. Because, you know, some, normally act is inconsistent, right? Like, sometimes you have a really good act day and sometimes you don't. But. All players holding 95 and a half, pretty much. I mean, Flea's down in the 98, but everyone else doing really well. Yeah. And I mean, the Netherlands just isn't geared up for accuracy. No, but it's not. It's not that the Netherlands aren't doing are, are doing bad. I mean, their scores in them themselves are amazing too. I mean, 97s, 397s, and 98 from Silver Haze. I mean, that's also very impressive. Unfortunately, yeah, it it's just really not good enough against the act team that is which that is Canada. It's just <laughs> not possible. <laughs> and it's a short song, too. Yeah, the Netherlands did great. They tried their hardest. Yeah. And hopefully Cooling will be able to play in their next game. I don't know to what extent his injury like is. But... You know, it'd, it'd be nice to see him climb through the loser's bracket. Yeah, cooling. They're not gone shot, yet. You get better. <laughs> They're not gone yet, and I, I want to see more of Netherlands playing. Rig tournament. <laughs> Lies. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely doing well 
Yeah, if anything, the weather was rigged. Poor Electro. Oh my god. I wonder what's what what would be more rare. Someone someone's power going out from lightning during the match or getting a tie. Ooh. A tie. I think a tie would be more rare. I don't know. We have to test it. This one people whose power went out during Thunderstorms for, for tournaments in the uh, I guess that just doesn't happen much here. We're gonna get I feel like it's happened here. before. Alright, so Canada is going to move on in finals, playing against either United States or UK. That game is coming up next. Netherlands is dropping down a yep. loser round four and is going to be playing against Sweden, I believe. Sick of this. Whoa. All they're arguing, they just need to get it done. I'll get it. It's whoops. You ever want to come in and tell the bugger off? Ah, uh, that was great. I actually verbally laughed. That was uh, <laughs> that was beautiful. That was really good. I, I love how they <laughs> they pre-plan their spam for emotes. That's so good. <laughs> Tell them it's whoops. <laughs> Tell the bugger to piss off. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, Team UK, you know, if they don't win it in the game, they're winning it outside of the game, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, like, they got crowd support out here. <laughs>